Upstart. Now, this one's pretty interesting because we talk about AI all the time. It's been a huge influence on the markets. Meta really absolutely threw fuel on the fire last week, talking about NVIDIA, talking about the billions of dollars on chips they were willing to spend for this whole AI world. We talk about Apple. Why is Apple keep on running to the upside? AI. Everybody seems to be leaning on AI. Well, Upstart, they're pretty optimistic about the AI in the lending space. And a lot of people are kind of joining in on that whole thing. That being said, it's still a name that's been all over the map markets, never really had a great path. It's just everywhere. It can run, it can fall back. One of the things that's causing the run, in my opinion, is the amazing amount of short interest it's got. 35 to 40% of this stock is short. So could you get a squeeze to the upside? Absolutely. Have we seen that? Absolutely. Will it continue? I don't know. <laughs> because those shorts can sometimes say, well, you know what, Let, let's get back in there and start pushing this thing down even further again because of this, 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 this. So for right now, Mark, I'm sort of stepping away. We did have some call buying uh, in there today, but wasn't huge. And they were looking for something relatively short time. So they weren't going out and saying, hey, look, we're going to June. We're going to buy these calls. We think this stock is really starting to head to the upside. This was more of a short term we think this thing can bump up a little bit because of those shorts. And, and I, I'm going to take a slightly more bullish and optimistic view of this one, Pete. I mean, and it's not just because it's AI and it's not just because it's data. It's enterprise AI. And as we've said, and, and, and we will continue to say, 2024 is not just going to be the year of AI. It's the year of enterprise AI, business-to-business SaaS-based AI, where corporations are using artificial intelligence and machine learning, large language models, to make better, faster, more informed decisions. It's not just about, will chat GPT and search kill Google's advertising business, although that gets 90% of the uh, media time when we talk about artificial intelligence. And this is enterprise SaaS B2B AI in a space that it's really needed. So they actually provide banks and non-traditional lending platforms think like our friends at Klarna firm the buy now pay laters folks like that to give underwriting data to those lenders based on non-traditional sources so throw out your fico score your credit score and all that they're looking at all kinds of stuff like do i keep my phone my smartphone charged at all times to determine a person's credit worthiness i submit pete that at a time when we have all-time consumer credit card debt, we are ringing the bell every time that number comes out, goes higher and higher. You saw some of the banks that reported last week setting aside larger reserves for charge-offs. The demand for what this company does is only going to increase. 